Hey, Danielle, how you doing? I, okay, I got your stuff up. Thanks so much for getting this submitted. Um, I, I mean, I don't, I think it's great that you guys are, are working on, you know, going back to week one while you're working on week two. And I'm, I'm, I mean, um, week three and four, and eventually, you know, going still back to week one and week three while you're working on weeks five and six. And I, I think it's smart to do that. And the reason I have it set up like that is that mirrors, um, the studio setting uh, quite nicely, actually, where you're working on four, five, six projects at the same time. So let's take a look at the magazine ad. I think it looks great. Um, I think it looks phenomenal. I, I really do. I think it's it's really, really a good ad. Um, my suge only suggestion, two suggestions, okay? Um, the one is this, uh, if I could draw a guide let me see if yes i can all right awesome so i'm just going to pull a guide here and i'm just going to draw it like right to the end of the bottle like somewhere around there in his fingers and that's where actually you're aligned pretty well that's fine the two is hanging that's fine that's good that's pretty good alignment because you're going to follow that natural line up there anyways with the logo it's going to follow that up and, and the eye is going to go up in that direction anyway so that's good placement good job okay uh the one thing i do recommend though is i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to zoom in here and i want to show you something okay it, it looks like there's a, a a drop shadow on your text here and, and i would recommend not doing that um you you don't need it if anything it's impeding the readability because as we can see what happens it's you're probably not seeing it very well but yeah we're definitely seeing bits of a drop shadow back there so i i, I recommend losing it completely okay uh magazine now the one thing i recommend about the magazine and anything that you happen to be showing on a white background that has a white background is um put it on a just a hairline maybe a one pixel black stroke around the outside of the, the page so that we know where the page ends. And you do that again whenever you have a white background, a, a piece that has a white background and is showing it on a white background. Okay, so magazine um, cover, I, this is gonna need to be redesigned for a portfolio piece because it's it's breaking a lot of general rules for um, um, magazine cover design. And, and one of the main things is that you only have one headline and it's not even really a headline it's a pull quote so that what i would suggest doing is is um for this piece is if you want to keep this image uh, move it over to the middle a little bit i would reduce the size a little and then so you have your 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 mark zuckerberg then you have a couple other headlines and then on this side you might have another headline here and then maybe one over here i, I mean if you're going to design a magazine we got to make it look like a magazine okay um, that's really super important. Um, so, so let's go ahead and, and do that. Okay. Other than, other than that, I think this looks pretty good. Typically you're going to have your, your um, volume number and folio information up here somewhere near the masthead. Okay. Next piece. Uh, this piece looks good. Is there a call to action here? Or is this just a poster? Is it, is that welcome to Moulin Rouge? Um, should there be a, a byline? Should this be like the, the best little uh, uh, cabaret in Paris or maybe down there or something? I don't know. I'm just wondering because right now it's just it's just a visual. I mean, it's not really it, – it's saying welcome to Moulin Rouge, but it's a poster. So I'm wondering if that's – do you see what I'm saying? Is that is that at this particular venue or it's it's just a little bit – just a little bit unclear. Um, as to what the call to action is on that piece right there. Um, the mailer looks good. I would recommend um, 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 designing a, the other side of this as well. So you've got take continue this uh, design concept somewhere and, and on the other side, continue that over here. And you can have your, your stamp here and your, your uh, information, uh, mailing information there. But definitely two sides on that. I would not use, this is a really good typeface to use for Egyptian. It just looks, looks it. This looks like that kind of, the, the type that's on U.S. dollars, um, doesn't it? So I'm not real sure if that's really significant of, or, or indicative of Egypt, you know, Egypt or, or, you know, Egyptian culture or visual culture at least. Um, okay, so, so definitely think about that. Let's move on to the witch's tale. Uh, this is, um, um, 
I'm wondering about the, the perspective here, the size of the piece. I mean, it looks like it's short and fat. I mean, this is a DVD, right? Aren't they more shaped like, like, like this kind of? Than this like almost like if you take yours is yours is almost square in format it's really kind of unusual um okay cover looks really good um so does the spine i i one recommendation here is that you have the drop cap but then you have this this line right here should just continue right there after bastion a young male cat familiar uh born Okay, so instead of saying Bastion and then moving to the next line, a young, just say Bastion, a young, continue that line right there. Also, this center line, I recommend left aligning it. That way you won't have these weird lines just kind of dangling in the middle of there. Um, a process book looks phenomenal. Sketches are fabulous. Um, now, now, these are not by any means going to be the final portfolio pages, so, so, so portfolio pages. So, you know, the presentation, as long as we have this right now, we're good. We're, we'll, we'll talk about actual presentation in uh, a, a week or two. Um, excellent. Good job. Uh, thumbnail process book. Um, um, if you're going to show your type studies, uh, you've got, okay, you've got, you've got, give, give the, the, the size. Give the size, but don't give the size here. Give the size of where, what it is here. So if that's Gishkur, Wilfgen, Gothic, um, Go ahead and say like 12 point right there. That's going to indicate that that's 12 point, not that. It'll be a given. Do the same thing there, what point size that is. Okay, and, and same thing throughout there. Then this, I don't know what this is. Um, this is your final piece, obviously. We can see that, your final cover. But I, I just don't know what this is, this this particular. Is it an iteration? Is it a, uh, it doesn't say anything, so I'm just kind of guessing. Uh, the final piece, I think it looks fabulous. It really does. Um, I, you know, do you, can you, you've got, you, I'm sure you've probably got the mock-up still. So can you go ahead and, and open that up and show us the inside? Because I'm for fear that it's going to look a very, very bleak with no type on the CD and no type on the other side of that. So when we open that up, we're, it's going gonna, it's gonna to look unfinished. And so I suggest either showing the inside with type or removing the inside from this and just showing that. Um, okay. Um, all right. That's it. Good job. Awesome job. Thank you so much for, um, uh, you know, continuing carrying on and uh, going back to make sure that your pieces are as good as they possibly can be. All right. Great job. Any questions at all, please feel free to give me a holler. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Sorry. I, there's something I forgot and it's very important. So let's do this. I want to show you something. I'm going to just go to a new window over here and we're going to do a search for it's called, okay. I've already got, <laughs> I've already got it because I've used it. It's portfolios and art cases.com. And if you go and let's see, if we just go right to, to port, it's, it's portfolios and art cases.com. And I am really, really interested in these screw posts. Um, this is what I use. I use this, the aluminum, and um, the black is quite nice, too. And I, I love these. I really do. Even the bamboo is, is, is pretty good. I love these because they're really, they're kind of really super classy, but they're innocuous enough not to try to draw, like, undue attention to yourself as a designer, if that makes sense. So I, you know, I I really really like these uh, these so so take a look at these for your flat book plus they're really super super affordable and there's some sales here and they also have um hey I paid a lot more for mine <laughs> a lot more anyway uh so anyways you and plus you've got student discounts here too so make sure you look up that look that up as well okay awesome cool thanks.